Paula. Haley, thank you. I'd like to ask you about the Woodward interviews. Did President Trump intentionally mislead the American people about the threat of COVID, a pandemic that has now cost the lives of nearly 200,000 Americans? Absolutely not. Um, this president, at a time when you're facing insurmountable challenges, it's important to express confidence. It's important to express I calm. Always play it down. Is playing it down? Is that is that expressing calm? It well, seems dishonest. It seems. Can like you read the rest of the quote? That's how much they put in there. Oh, you excluded the last part. Um, we'll play the full thing on 60 please, minutes. Please on do, do you deny please that do he explain. misled the American please, people about the Of course I deny of that. Pandemic. And he makes clear that he doesn't want to see chaos, by the way, is the second part of the quote, which you failed to read. Um, the president, just days after having this discussion um, with Bob Woodward, said this from this podium on March 30th. He said, I do want them to stay calm. We are doing a great job. If you look at the individual statements, they're all true. Stay calm. Um, it will go away, but it's important to stay calm. So this president does what leaders do, good leaders. It's stay calm and resolute at a time when you face an insurmountable challenge. So That's what this president has It will not appear that the president lied to the American public about the threat posed by COVID. The president has never lied to the American public on COVID. The president's been very, the president was expressing calm and his actions reflect that. Uh, on January 6th, uh, the CDC issued a Wuhan travel notice before any confirmed U.S. cases, among another a number of other actions. And I'd refer you to Dr. Fauci, who said that this president has an impressive response. I can't imagine under any circumstance that anyone could be doing anything more. That is the record of this president.